This is a fairly intensive court. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it takes, I have to know everybody there, I have to know what their issues are, and I have to know what their personality is. Yesterday I had a three o'clock docket with 12 people, three of them showed up without shirts and shoes. Uh, because it was hot? <laughs> no, because they got arrested that way and released from jail to come to court. Um, we ha it's very, very difficult to explain to people in positions of authority, and I hope your article can help with this. Okay. How do you explain to the city council and the mayor the persons that we have to deal with on a daily basis? Uh, when I first came here, one of those persons made the comment, I don't understand why people aren't paying their fines. I would always pay mine. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> if, if, if they can't understand and appreciate that these are people who can't even go to the mission, then how do we explain the need that we have? And, and I think we have a very sensitive group right now on the city council and the mayor. And, and those are plugged in people. And those are plugged in people. Right. But even they have a challenge of appreciating how deep it is. Um, and, and that's the challenge of your article is to share that there's this, there's this layer that exists in every community mm -hmm. that the police interact with and courts interact with and jail interacts with that the rest of that community would prefer not to know that they were there. And many of those people, we can get them some assistance and support, and then they don't have to interact with the police, they don't have to interact with the courts. They're getting their medications through Vallejo or some other program or through the VA. Mm -hmm. They're getting counseling, they're going to support groups. Uh, they've been in sobriety for 30, 60, 90, 180 days, which has never happened before. Uh, that's what this program is really all about. So I think everybody we see has a component of mental health. Okay. It's particularly in, in the alternative sense in court, I think every one of them has a component of mental health. Some of it is diagnosable, some of it is not. Hmm. It's just a fact of their life. They've been on the streets long enough that they're just disconnected from reality. So, so you, you guys seem to think that this works? Yes. Absolutely. Once I figured out what it was, and I can't stress to you enough, I couldn't figure out what I was sitting in for about the first four weeks I was here. It was so foreign to me. But yes, I've seen it with my own eyes. It works. Why aren't the